Uh, Morocco is the largest energy importer in North and Africa. Um, how dependent is Morocco from the imports, and what has been the development of the energy bill so far? Uh, first of all, I want just to uh, re remember that uh, due to the economic and social growth that uh, our country is knowing on the last decade, uh, with big economic reform and with new development in different sectors like agriculture, industry, infrastructure, tourism, the demand for energy is increasing by 5% a year for the primary energy and uh, may, uh, almost 7% for electricity. Mm -hmm. And in uh, our evaluation for the short, medium and long term, the demand for ener primary energy will double by 2020 and will be multiplied by three by 2030. And the electricity demand will be doubled by 2020 and multiplied by four by 2030. So it gives you an idea so how uh, big is the demand and uh, we have for this uh, needs construct a new uh, prepare the new strategy and a new uh, plan for equipment of new plants to meet those uh, objectives uh, our strategy is based on three main uh, orientations securing availability of energy at the best cost for all the people in all the country secondly the integration of Morocco in its Euro-Mediterranean area and in the Maghreb, and then considering this development uh, in a sustainable development way. Mm -hmm. To secure this energy, we have decided voluntarily by the vision of His Majesty to develop our renewable energy since Morocco has a big potential from wind and solar. And uh, His Majesty has launched two main programs for solar energy and wind energy. The each of those plans aims to construct 2,000 megawatts of new capaci electric capacity by 2020. And by 2020, renewable energy, uh, uh, considering solar, wind and hydro, will represent 42% of the total capacity installed. Those big projects will need an investment of uh, uh, $12.5 billion. And we have uh, decided to construct them in a partnership between public and private companies and uh, bringing uh, into Morocco investors from uh, any area of the world, from Europe, from the US, from Asia, which have expertise and uh, which have also capacity of, finance, of financing. Mm -hmm. Since the announcement of this project, we have received very good uh, positions of the uh, different institution, financial institution in the bilateral and multilateral side. And for the uh, solar plan, we have right now discussions with a pool of financial institution constituted by the World Bank, by uh, the IFD, l'Agence Française de Développement, by the European Investment Bank, by JICA uh, uh, from Japan, KFW uh, from uh, uh, Germany. And all those institutions are highly interested to finance this project because I think one of the most critical aspects right now due to the crisis is the financing. But uh, uh, operators have uh, shown a great interest and uh, are looking at those projects very seriously. Mm -hmm. Morocco has also uh, organized the environment to attract companies and investors we have promulgated the law for the renewable energy. We have created a dedicated agency to construct this uh, solar plan, which is MAZEN, Moroccan Agency for Solar uh, Energy. And we have considered those two main projects, the solar one and the wind one, as integrated projects. We, uh, we, we want to construct also industry around solar and wind uh, equipment. We want to attract industries and investors in those sectors and for this we will afford them very good and incentives uh, with specific uh, industrial areas dedicated to the new energy, to the renewable energy and for instance the first one which has been prepared is called the Clean Tech 
in Ujda, in the northeast of the country, and we have prepared a special energy offer for those investors with the access of to land, very easy access to land, with uh, specific uh, support and subvention to the uh, investment up to 20 million dirhams. And uh, we have also considered possibility of giving some subventions for those who will bring also the training. Those uh, projects are of high uh, interest for investors and uh, right now companies from all the areas of the world have expressed their interest and uh, are discussing with us.